at the center of an exhibit called Out of the Depths, the 25 meter long skeleton of a blue whale. Fascinated families stroll through the bones, finding out about a creature so big, its heart is the size of a compact car. What's on display here today is the result of three years of intense efforts by scientists and restoration experts. We're talking about the complete biology of the blue whales. You'll be able to see, you'll be able to hear them and communicate. You'll be able to smell them. Uh, you'll be able to see what a blue whale looks like when it swims. You'll learn about the circulation, about digestion of whales, what they eat, what they, how they feed. And we're also talking about uh, a big section on evolution of whales. This project evolved after a dead blue whale washed ashore in Newfoundland in 2014, one of several suffocated that year by late season sea ice in the North Atlantic. As the carcass rotted, local people worried it would pollute the cove or even explode. But experts intervened to tow the remains away to a remote spot to cut away the flesh and begin the smelly task of cleaning it up for display. The skeleton spent the next two and a half years at this factory near Toronto, where skilled workers reassembled dinosaur bones and fossils from museums around the world. This was their first project involving a whale. Every single piece, and there were hundreds of them, had to be drained, cured with resins, and carefully laid onto a special steel frame designed for the display. With dinosaur bones, we know they're clean. You know, but here we've got that oil, and if the oil starts to seep out, you know, a year or two from now, then it'll uh, drip on the visitors, and we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Once hunted and harpooned to near extinction, these whales remain rare and hard to see in the wild. That's why this exhibit and the research program that goes with it are a unique opportunity to learn more about the largest animal that's ever lived. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.